the PS representative, Dr. Egon, Kenya board led by the chair, Professor Marwanga, uh, Kenya CEO, my friend Tony, and all the stakeholders uh, present uh, from heads of academic institutions, heads of uh, science research centers, head of uh, government agencies, and researchers. I actually don't have a speech because I had come here to learn, to listen. I'm a channel. I'm just absorbing what you're saying and I'll go and uh, uh, share it with uh, my honorable members. I don't know if there's any honorable member who made it. Today being a Friday most, and we had so many by-elections, uh, most of them disappeared. <laughs> Uh, we were saving our seats. Uh, I'm from Matungu. Of course, we lost, but uh, we live to fight another day as ODM. Uh, my name is Florence Mutua. I'm, I'm the county MP for Busia, and I'm also the chairperson, education and research. Most people just say education, and I always tell them, and research, because research has to be there. Uh, I'm happy that Kenya National Innovation Agency is now ready to move to the next level uh, since in inception. And I'm happy that we have a very competent board and um, we have a very aggressive and ready uh, CEO is ready to run. Uh, your CEO, uh, the board, is a very aggressive uh, person. <laughs> uh, actually, that's why I, was, uh, I gave him my ear. And uh, I can assure you he's ready. Uh, to push the mandate of uh, Kenya up out there. Uh, he's always uh, putting up a very spirited fight whenever we have a, a meeting of higher education. And that's how actually we came to now starting to have an interest in this Kenya. Uh, of course, nobody used to ever hear about it, but because of your new CEO, people are now listening. My departmental committee on education and research is established under the standing order 216 and its mandate is to consider all matters relating to education sector, key of them being budget, oversight, and its utilization. One thing that, however, saddens me is the issue that most people in this country don't take research seriously, and research is really always underfunded. Even in the, my former committee in agriculture, I used to fight about research. We cannot live as a country without research. We will be totally dead and we will not be able to survive. So this is a battle I'm having to ensure first uh, NRF, among other key institutions, uh, get adequate funding. Uh, and for Kenya to survive, we must fund a national research fund. This will ensure we have new products uh, and make them available on the market in whichever sector that we are in. Uh, we have visited many universities and uh, they have a lot of innovations that are if are marketed well and we have ready market, then the universities will have more funding for operations, among many other things. I will not talk about the technicalities of licensing, intellectual property issues, and uh, others, and the entire framework process. Mine is to listen, learn, and convince the rest of my members so that we can own this baby and give it life. Uh, and if there are any amendments, acts, or regulations that are needed to be passed by Parliament, then that is my job, and we'll ensure that it's done. Uh, the other issue is also to ensure that we have, uh, we have to fund the board adequately so that it can achieve its mandate. Uh, we just, our job is not just to ensure that the board has got uh, recurrent uh, funding, but also to ensure it has extra funds that can do and achieve its mandate as it's purposed. Lastly, as uh, we need uh, as higher education to be innovative in such a way, we don't entirely depend on government funding. We have a lot of innovations, tapped and untapped, that can give the universities their identity, uniqueness, as well as that much needed extra funding. Through commercialization, jobs will be created through information transfer, among others. So let's do this. Kenya now needs funding from uh, GOK. Soon, as it has been said, we'll have private sector funding. We will have our development partners. We must therefore quickly first come up with a legal framework that works, that will ensure and will lead us to the innovation funding. Kenya uh, will soon be uh, self 
uh, sustainable through these fundings that we are talking about. But as the CEO has said, we must organize ourselves first. We must look each other in the eye and tell ourselves this is where we always fail. Let us start from where we always uh, fail. Most of you have serious inventions out there and you want to hold on to them because there is no adequate legal framework. How will you get your recognition? How will you get the long-term benefit? This is the forum. Uh, however late in the day, for us to can candidly and openly discuss this and agree we have been sitting on a gold mine and find a way of generating more gold. Let us not bury our talents like the guy in the Bible, but use our one talent to give back to many more and ensure they bring us benefits as a sector. We have recently seen the young man who came up with the, the ventilator. I talked about it with the CEO the other day. Uh, we don't know whether that idea died or whether it died because he did not have capital or whether it died because there was no framework for him to enhance his idea, which is very quite sad, which is quite sad. So we need to uh, find out what uh, this, man this young man had about the ventilators and how we can be able to help him. Um, lastly, we also have a very young CEO here with us who has very, very good English and very good standing. So let us help him at the board. You need to support him so that he can go out there and look for resource mobilization. Reach out to the donors. Donors love research. And I can assure you they quickly support the innovation and science if we have the legal framework in place. My committee and I are ready. And I will invite the board and the CEO very soon to take the members through, hopefully, the draft framework so that we can move with feet. Uh, you know us, uh, we will be very soon moving to the referendum, Manenos, BBI, and maybe we'll be absorbed in the campaigns. So I'm hoping before we get into that madness that we go through, we will, be, we will have moved at least uh, some several uh, stages. Let us be the team that, has, that will clear the way for researchers to enjoy their innovations. You have heard Madame say, talking about the innovation she's had. She's afraid that if she releases out there, she will retire being a broke person. Yet she's the one who gave birth to that idea. That's what most of you are afraid of. So let us ensure that you have the framework in place for this, for you to be happy as a person that I gave birth to this idea and it is ben giving benefits uh, to me in this way and it is uh, bringing the country this benefit. Let us uh, be able to move uh, to the next level. Um, we have talked about um, the Innovation Week. It is a very good idea. We have very many universities, with very, very many unique uh, innovations out there. But Zico too, we have visited many and we've seen them. Some of us have bought them directly from the universities, but they are not out here. We need them out here so that they can bring more money to the universities. So let us have this uh, week, what did we call it? The Innovation Week something. Innovation Week, whatever it is you will call it, so that we can visit. I will ensure that my committee, if not all members can come, some can come and bring back the report so that we know what is out there and be able to support the university. Let us be unique. If this university is doing this, this one, let the other one not copy. Do yours so that you can be unique in your own way and we'll come and visit and be able to support you in whichever way. CBC has come, unfortunately, late in the day. I think CBC is the best thing that has ever happened to this country. We are seeing now children who can cook when they are four years old. There are some children now who are 15 and they can't cook. CBC is bringing back our children to what we used to be. Because we used to do many things that our children now cannot do. Because they can't even put on a button on their shirts. So CBC is bringing all these things back. So I am sure uh, because of CBC, we are, as has been said, we will have more inventions even in those kindergarten schools areas. So let us make the framework open. Let us not just limit to um, the researchers and the universities. Let us have also a close where we, we bring in uh, all cadres of uh, levels. And uh, with that said, I just want to thank uh, the CEO and the board for inviting all of us here. I'm sure everybody has learned something. It is good to meet uh, often. We need to have timelines. If we leave this open, we'll never move. Tutakutana tena 2022, 
kama ni co-education, maybe committee, we are talking about the same story. Let us have timelines, tight ones, so that we say in the next two months, tutakutana hapa, or we'll meet somewhere else, you can even organize a retreat. I know you don't have money. Tafuta presa CEO and a board. <laughs> you take this, the, the people here on a retreat so that they can. I know they have ideas, but because of the limit of the time, they didn't talk all they want. How could roho ya oyote? So organize a longer, maybe term, uh, two days retreat so that you can get all the ideas that you need. Put them on paper and then now move with their, with their approval. And then uh, we'll be able to meet maybe after a month or two this team here, and then review where you have, where the board and yourself have reached. And then they can uh, maybe be able to edit or look at it or do whatever they have to do on the draft uh, legal framework that I hope you'll have, you'll have ready at that time. So with the timelines, before we leave, maybe we'll agree on the timelines and then we'll be able to agree on a date on when we can meet next. And I'm sure my committee members will be able, if it is on a, a Thursday, most of them will be able to come. Uh, lastly, I just want to uh, thank you again. May God enhance and uh, bless you all. Thank you very much.